Alright everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water. Alright, so before I go into this next chapter, yeah, I figured I didn't have probably any outfits, but, you know, that was worth looking. So I get to see who these people are. Okay, that's me, you, that's who we played as first, Yuri, Ren. So those are the three characters you'll be playing as. Gotcha. I keep having to look because I don't know what B and stuff is. It has been several days since the incident at the end. Hisoka is out on the case. A young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. Yuri is giving a missing person's case something Hisoka forbade. Uh. What? What is this? Buying stuff? 42. I don't mean to keep trying to buy that stuff. What's Mirror Stone? Okay, revives you if you die. We're just gonna go into it with the basic stuff. We'll see what's up with that. Second drop, Mount Hukami. A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to Shadow Reading at the Beta Name. Since then, Hisoka has gone on somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri worries for Hisoka, but isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits waiting at the antique shop, a girl named Fuyahi. Hamino shows up, claiming to have enlisted Hizoka to help her find a missing person. Okay, these names, these names are killing me. So if I butcher these names, I apologize. Something gonna happen or no? Nope? Um, excuse me, hello. Um, I'm looking for Hisoka Kurosawa. Is she here? No. Oh, I'm sorry, but she stepped out. My name is Fuyuhi Himino. I've been waiting for her to tell me if, if, if she could help me find someone. I still haven't got a reply from her. You're looking for someone? She might have gone to the mountain. Mount Hikami. Mount Hikami. Someone told me that they saw my friend there. It's an infamous <clears throat> suicide spot, isn't it? I don't know why hmm. Haruka would go to a place like that and without even saying a word to me. Don't worry. As soon as Ahsoka gets back, I'll tell her. No. That's fine. I can't wait any longer. I'll go look for her myself. Huh? Come back! So now I get to chase after. Missing person case. Ahsoka left a few days ago and hasn't been back. Maybe this is what she's been working on. Hisoka's room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. Okay. The map should be on. Okay. Yep. Let's say the map should show up. So nervous about standing here by myself. Or, yeah, standing here by myself. Because I've never been good at handling customers. I've only just learned how to make coffee. And I've never actually served a customer yet. And why the hell would they leave you in charge? So even in your own place, you open doors like that. Was this her room? I don't know. I can't see the map while I'm opening a door. Yes, this should be it. A book about Matt, Mount Okami. Seems to be about the rumors surrounding as a site of spiritual activity. Oh, here we go. How does a place become famed for suicide? As more people die, the place will gain a reputation, and people are drawn to these spots out of desire not to be alone in the end. Interestingly, these suicide spots are rarely known as hot spots for spiritual activity. 
This is what makes Mount Hakame distinct from the others. It has both a tradition of suicide and has long been associated with ghost sightings. Then there are the so-called Maidens of Black Water. It is said that if you are found by one of those maidens, they will lead you to your death. Those caught in the Maidens' gaze never again leave the mountain, or so the rumor goes. There are also tales of specters on Mount Hakami who relive their own deaths. Those who do not die in accordance with local practices become cursed, forced to relive their final moments for eternity. Many of the people who have been kept from committing... Committing suicide on Mount Hokami, claimed to have seen a maiden or one of those looping specters and felt a strong compulsion to kill themselves. Perhaps it is because of these stories of maidens and ghosts that the mountain continues to be a popular spot for those looking to take their own life. So basically, the first chick then is screwed. Seems to be about the tradition. Mount Hakami has long been feared to be haunted in the past. It is said that sleeping with one's feet facing the mountain was taboo. Watching the sunset behind the mountain too was believed to invite forth beings from the netherworld. Today the mountain is said to call to those fascinated by death. Countless rumors abound by people spirited away to their accursed feet. They are said to venture to the mountain alone, leaving behind no trace of themselves. Some say the bodies of those who vanish can be found at the bottom of the lake of the departed on the mountain summit. Since becoming a tourist destination, the prevalence of such frightening tales did seem to diminish for a while. Even so, despite its fleeting status as a tourist hotspot, Mount Hakami is yet to shake its reputation as a cursed mountain, a place of death. Today, it has become a popular place at to which to commit suicide. Okay, is there anything else in here? Anything else? What's well, this room? She got her own little bathroom. No, it goes upstairs. Okay, well, I hear, like, crackling. Okay. So that wasn't her room. Her room is right here. This is her room. This is Ahsoka's room. She really likes her traditional Japanese style. What is making that crab? Okay. There's nothing of interest in here. I'm trying to like turn off the radio. Photo reading lost item sits on the desk. It's like it's bound by string. There seems to be notes of his uncle's shadow reading cases. Missing item diary. Token photos sees details locate mother's diary. Client seeks info on their late mother. Relates to a deceased individual. Apply caution. The caretaker of the deceased has burned the diary at her request. Okay, so I'm not going to read these because this is just like quest that like she went on. Okay, so she's trying to warn me. Okay, here. Shadow reading is the ability to retrace of the past, not unlike the ability commonly known as psychometry. By following these traces, it is possible to find things that have gone missing or which were no longer visible. Things that are demonstrably there, but for reasons unknown, are all but invisible. Things the owner wished to be forgotten, things whose owners have passed away, things that no longer wish to be seen. Things drawn partway into the netherworld, invisible within our own. Such items can be called back to the world of the living. Unlike these objects, however, people who have been spirited must not be chased after lightly. In many such cases, they have been taken by creatures of the netherworld who linger nearby. Utmost caution must always be applied. Something's gonna happen with that mirror. Maybe not. Okay, so this is the other thing. Okay, an open envelope for you. So it's for the chick. Or from the chick. Dear Miss Kurisawa, please find Haruka. She went missing over a week ago. You do still take on missing person cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they're no help. They say she was probably spirited away. 
Haruko wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? I'm worried sick. Haruka is still alive, I know it, but something has to be done and quick. Remember when you found that precious picture of me and Haruka? I was so happy to have it, and I need your help once again. There was a photograph with a letter. She was familiar, looking shy, and other girl, they were close. Hisoka. She must have gone to Mount Hikami to look for this girl. No shit. Mount Hikami, a place where many come to take their lives. I'm positive that for you he must have come here. For you he. I'm never going to remember that, even though they say it. Not who come I? We see for you he is somewhere on this mountain. Let's be able to use this picture of her to find her trace. Alright then. Well, why do we need the picture if it's gonna do that for us? Yo. The pole of purification. So I am heading to different areas. Is this where like the open world end of it kind of comes into play? I don't know. No, it's updated. The road has collapsed and the stone stairs are cut off. It must have been the landslide. The old road seems to carry on up the edge of the cliff. So basically, I can't go this or gotta go this way. Through the forest, yay! It's like fun. Water flowing down the rise is pool here, forming a small pond. There's something on the ground. Okay, but well, I didn't know you were using the Okay, I have no map. Maybe that's what am I moving? Sometimes the ghost hand will appear when you try to reach for an object. At least they are at the right moment to dodge it. If you do get grabbed, use I'm guessing that's the analog sticks to break their hold on you. Turris brochure. I wonder if Fujihi dropped it. Or the map of the mountain. Okay, that's cool, I guess. So this is the way from the pool to the unfathomable forest. Got it. Okay. I mean, I have the map on here, so it's not that big of a deal. But still, just trying to kind of look at it. Shrine of Dolls. No. Okay, just get out of here. Not gonna lie, but when I was at that menu, this menu, how you could see her in the background, I thought that was like just the background of it, and it was like supposed to be a ghost. Until I came out of it. So I don't have a camera, which means that I shouldn't be getting attacked. Unless if it's by those hands again. Something under the waterfall. Yeah, purifying embers. Coals that light the forbidden flame. They dry you and remove the taint of the black water. The wind is gauge to the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. As you get drenched, you'll become an easy target from the eleventh spirit. Use the purifying embers to dry yourself off. How the hell do I do that? Here? God, I hate trying to use the analog stick. Okay, so like that, and then we're good. 
An old stone monument has been set in the rocky hollow. It's covered in moss, so I can't tell if there's any writing on it. It must be a memorial for those who lost their lives in the landslide. It's not like I have a picture, or a camera, I mean. So I gotta be paying attention for hands to grab me. Okay, yeah, I know what those would do. But as I mean, without the camera, there's not much I'll be able to do. Fighting wise, run. This shit got some guts coming up here. Looks nice though, that's for sure. I mean, it's only playing Fatal Frame 2 and 1, you know, it definitely looks really good. <gasps> Dang it, I saw it coming too and tried. Sneaky bastard. Okay, so we got more purifying embers, but I don't seem to be wet at all. So, wait, is it down here? Do I go down there? Whoa, quit spinning everywhere. All right, well, now we're about to get wet some more. Maybe not. Is this the camera? Oh, man. Old film, it's not affected. It's not effective at exercising ghosts and it takes a long time to load. You got the stun lens, a lens that forcibly staggers the photograph subject. To use it quickly to your camera out score, you press R when you have enough spirit power, which is that. Okay. Okay, you have the switch upgrade. This allows you to quit and take pictures with different lenses. You can now use the camera obscura. Yeah, I don't need to hold it in front of me, thanks so. though. Okay, so I have unlimited type 7 and then some of type 14. And then we select lenses. Well, yeah, I'm trying to move somewhere where I can... Yeah, come here. Attack me. God, you're taking too freaking long. Got you that time, though. Yeah, how's it feel? Very low. Okay, but they still aren't defeated. Well, now they're separating. So that's not cool. Yeah, you need to get back together. Okay, hurry up, load up. The camera screw must have been carried here by the current, which means Hazoka is on the mountain too, but I should focus on finding Fuyuhi first. She can't have gone far. Okay, but... These things need to give me a life bar. Who has been condoned off by an old boarding boat? There are stairs and wire leading to the waterfall. This is a place of purification. It beats me. Okay. Now we got the camera, which means now we got to. Gotcha. Woman on a cliff. Okay, so it still does continue to go. I can't see to the bottom. Nobody could survive a drop from this height. Uh, yeah, we got a problem. Uh, I'm gonna go this way.
Well, tall fence blocks past. Beyond his expansive forest, there doesn't appear to be any way around. This quick turn in is hurting me. Yeah, watch out for a hand. Okay, got 14 type fill. I'm sure it's better than type 7 or whatever I've been using. Ah, there's a hole. So basically you take pictures of like this crap too. There's a torn note lying on the ground. I looked in the Mount Hakami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits of the dead. Maybe that's why it's a suicide spot. Haruko wouldn't go to die alone, though. Not without telling me. This book said people get spirited away to the mountain. They get called towards it and disappear alone. I read how it calls the people who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. It was describing Haruka perfectly. She's so kind and accepting. She always opens up to me. She's alert even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirit away. But where do people go when they're spirit away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets. And the more my heart starts pounding. Okay, well. Wait, was that another one? So, in the next area. Unfathomable Forest. That sounds like a great place. Sounds like I'm not gonna like this place. Ghosts like hidden throughout trees. No, see, I'm not game for that. So I keep forgetting I can just tap the run button and it will straighten out the camera instead of doing it the slow way because the right analog stick is supposed to do that, but it's. Oh, but it's so slow. There's someone by the shrine by the other side of the river. Was it for you or he? I don't know. It went so freaking quick. How are you supposed to see anything? Okay, well, we're not gonna stray too far. Oh, snap. Yo, bro. Are you all alone? Is it just you? Well, it's too early. And nope, it's not just you. You got these floating heads over here that I can see. Oh no, that's the thing for that get ejected off you. Right, I'm just taking the pictures so I can collect those. Alright, charge back up, and then when he charges me, take him out. Get ready, he's about to do it. Gotcha. I thought that was like the time where you're able to take like a bunch of pictures. Guess I was wrong. Yeah, now come at me. Gotcha. Yo. Like, what are these ghosts doing on here? Like, they just... Gotcha. Is he finished? No, he's not. Straighten this thing back out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, will you do something? No. Bro. Yes, he's finished. Thank you. Jeez, that was rough. So what happens if I never came over to this bridge? Would it still initiate that fight? If I would have just instead just ignored it and went this way? Would he have came up here?
Hmm. Do I have to follow it like to that extent? So she's leaving another note. So basically she like knew I would follow her. Do you he's trace ends here? Well there's something over there too. Okay, well cutscene. So what's the purpose of that? I don't know what to do now that Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone, I realize how important she is to me, how irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something when she left that day. Maybe if I'd said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable. I should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. If Haruka comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Maybe she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyways. I have to tell her. So, what are you? The hanged woman? That's it? Like, you're of no importance? Oh. 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 There we go. Oh, that's bad. I really wish I could like see a life gauge on you freaking people. Ooh. Dang it, it missed. Are you serious? Oh wow, now I got it. Yeah, build up all that good stuff. But apparently I only hit her. Oh, she's done. Cool. Your turn, pal. Oh, I see it. Hold up, I think I see it now. Attack me again. Hurry up. Come on, dude. Yo, bro, hit me. Or attempt to. Yeah, see, there we go. It just the, the time where you can continually snap pictures is really small. That's all it is. Like it's less than a second. I saw I saw the ticker and made me think of that for a second. So what's this? A book. Did I dodge it? I can't even know. God, I couldn't even tell what happened. Okay, film. New film in good condition. It's a, it is effective. Okay, so that's cool, I guess. There was another sparkle back here somewhere. Right there it is. More film, but it's more hands gonna try to stop me. Nope. Oh, can't hold any more of those. Oh! Whoa, shoot! Didn't know she was just gonna pop up when I drew the camera. Shit. Yo, lady, let's go. Come on, do an attack. Let's go. Lady, do something. Because instead I know you'll do something as soon as I take a picture. Because you're sneaky like that. Lady. Watch, now she's gonna attack. Watch. Yeah, I had to take her picture because she won't freaking do anything. Oh, see, now she is. Yeah, it jacked you up on the ground though, huh? What you get for being stupid? 
Wait, is that somebody else? That's why I thought I saw another ghost. So I can hear their thoughts if I like zoom in like that. Well, finished her off. But what what is Oh what I didn't even pick this up? Oh I couldn't. That was right. Type 14. Okay, yeah, I got quite a bit of those. I'm assuming it's stronger than seven. I swear that thing just moved. Scrap from a notebook, just like it fell from the sleeping bag, poking out of the tent. How long have I been here? I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm glad I decided to do things right and come here to die. This place feels right. I thought I might get lonely, but there are people here, people who aren't alive. This place may be as strange as people say. I heard children playing just now. I tried to get a look at them, but they ran off before I could get close. Did they come here on their own, or were they left here? Earlier, I heard the sound of raspy breathing and running. After that, I heard a scream. I was scared and held my breath. I'm not scared of death, but that was terrifying. I saw a woman dressed in white today. She was draped in cloth, so I couldn't see her face. She seemed to stare at me for a while, then left. Which side is she on, I wonder? Will she be back? I saw her again. She turns up every day watching me. I feel her gaze, but not her presence. As soon as I notice her, she disappears. She must be constantly watching me. I heard a voice, a mournful voice, like screaming. No, like singing. It was a call of some kind, but not for me. Not yet. My time is yet to come. Everything I brought with me is gone. Now I have nothing. I like it here. Nothing matters now. This was the right choice. I'm glad I came. She will come soon. She will take me away. She is calling. I must go. Alright then. Assuming that's the girl we came here to look for. Okay, I have a map here, but it doesn't really show anywhere that I can go. Oh, no, I just got to a new place. Okay, now I need to watch for these freaking hands because these hands are jacking me up. Okay, just do a little bit of a sprint here. Okay, we have multiple ways again. Just watch for freaking more spirits. Oh, film, 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 film. Oh, can't pick it up. That was still played that one ghost like popped up as soon as I lifted up the camera. Like I don't know if that was an actual scripted thing, like that's just something that happens at that point. Or if it was just because like I lifted my camera that happened. It might have just been a coincidence. And then it also might have been something that's supposed to happen. Upway, there's a walkway across the river. The main shrine must be deeper in the forest. Oh. Oh, I feel I've been here. But I have not picked this up. Sacred water. Okay, it stores health completely. And now I'm on a path that I've been on before. Yeah, keep looking down to check the map in case you know you're wondering. What is that? Swept away maiden. So I didn't like the idea of using that 14 film for her, but I guess it really don't matter because I get so much of it anyways. But yeah, in case I'm gonna end this part right here, but I'm gonna try to look like, see, this is what I keep looking at. I don't know if you can see it, the glare might be too bad. Yeah, I mean, the glare is pretty bad, but it's pretty much the map. And this is what's like almost always on my screen, unless the cutscene is playing. So if I'm looking down, this is usually what I'm looking down at, is the map. Because what you're seeing now on screen is pretty much what I see on here constantly. So, 
anyways it's definitely getting a lot more interesting so far this one definitely seems to be a lot more action oriented as opposed to one or two even though i'm still early in two so i can't make that much of a call on two but there's been a lot more fun like as what this game is considered the fighting kind of on one i it was like i can't really remember if you did or not but it was really rare if you did to fight two girls at one time and on this almost every fight has been two girls at one time so it's definitely interesting we'll see where it goes from here so thank you for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe so you know when i upload the next part